What's up guys, it's Robert the Barber here and today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do a mid ball fade with a little drop in the back and let's just jump right into it. Right here I have my number three guard and I have it fully closed and I'm just taking off a lot of bulk this guy has on his hair. Um, he hasn't had a haircut in a long time so I was able to give him a nice haircut. Guys, and I'm using the comb to actually uh, make my guideline as I'm going up. I don't want to go up too high. Alrighty guys, and right here, I'm gonna set up my first guideline with the lever closed on the wall senior. And then I'm gonna go up half an inch with the lever open. After I go up half an inch with the lever open, I'm gonna go, go ahead and play with my lever and start taking off that bottom line as I just keep going up. I grab my number one guard and I have it fully closed. After I grab my number one guard, I grab my half guard and I just pretty much have it closed as well. And I blend that bottom line to connect it with the number one guard closed. After this, I grab my number two guard and I have it fully open. And then I grab my one and a half guard fully open. And then I grab my one guard fully open. And then I grab my half guard fully open. And here guys, I'm gonna pretty much play with the lever and play with all the guards to connect my lines. Um, it's super easy. Uh, I, I really can't complain about this technique because honestly, every haircut needs a detail work. So it just depends how comfortable you are on setting your guidelines. So this process for me was it was a process for me to learn, but at the same time, it helped me so much because within time you start knowing how to set your guidelines and knowing how to blend them out. I mean, everybody has their own style. Uh, don't get frustrated and think that uh, you don't know how to cut hair because you don't know how to erase lines. No, within time, guys, you're able, you're able to erase those line guys. And right here, as you can see, this haircut looks kind of simple, but it needed a lot of detail work. And as you can see, all the detail that I'm doing to this haircut, and this is something that um, just didn't come from one day to another. It took a little time. I barely have going to two years of cutting hair, and I still struggle with like perfecting a haircut. So. Just bear with me. Uh, I'm a real detailed person and I've been trying to be since the day I started cutting hair. Glory to God. Um, so guys, please do not feel like just because you can't take out a, a line or something, uh, barbering is not for you. No. Stay there and work at it and you'll be able to make yourself a nice haircut. And sorry guys if, I, if I'm getting out of like proportion here, but... Uh, I really want you guys to understand that it's not just becoming a good barber from one day to the next. No, it takes a lot of time. And as you can see, like my progress from my haircuts to, to now, uh, since I started, I feel like I, I still need a lot of work. Um, so please guys, uh, if you're gonna comment leave a good comment and let me know what you guys want me to do next um, I try my best on this haircut for you guys to see more or less my my techniques um, I'm gonna write them down right there in the description below so you guys could follow those uh, those steps and If you needed to continue watching this video, maybe this worked for you. Go ahead uh, I try to do my best to show you guys 100% of my work and I do get kind of nervous whenever I'm making videos, but I have to do them because I learn from them as well. And this is the after guys, check it out. Wow. Really love the way this haircut came out and he was super happy. And also guys, please uh, follow me on Instagram at Robert the Barber and leave a comment. See you guys next time.